Hmm. Well, well, we know how to deal with the infinite sum of uh, geometric series, but I don't think this is geometric series, so that's out of the consideration. I also know that we can't compute the infinite sum for the telescoping series. Maybe we can somehow break down the inverse tangent into two parts, and maybe this is somehow a telescoping series. And the truth is, in fact, I've done a video very similar to how to break down the inverse tangent. Right? So if you haven't seen that video, you guys can check out the link in the description. That was an integral video, and now this is a series video, right? Anyway, here we go. This is how we can approach it right here. First of all, we are going to utilize the angle subtraction formula for tangent. And let me just write that down right here for you guys. Let me write down tangent of A minus B. This right here is equal to, on the top here we have tangent A minus tangent B over 1 plus tangent A times tangent B, right? From here, what we can do is just take the inverse tangent on both sides. So as you can see, we have the inverse tangent here. And I know we don't like this notation, but seriously, this is just inverse tangent notation, right? So we have to get used to it, right? So take the inverse tangent on both sides. And we actually end up canceling these two out, and we get A minus B equal to this right here. And this now we have a big inverse tangent on the very outside like this, and then we have this tangent A minus tangent B over 1 plus tangent A tangent B, right? So this is pretty good. And now let's see how we can really deal with this. Hmm. In order for us to break down inverse tangent, it seems like we have to somehow make the inside looks like this. So let's focus on the inside namely 1 over 2 and square. Let's see how we can deal with the inside right here, right? So let's observe the following. We know 1 over 2 and square. <sighs> let's see. I really want to have a 1 plus down in the denominator to help me out, right? So keep that in mind. And I want to have two things multiplying each other. And um, I want them to be with a like, similar kind. So I don't want to just do like, you know, put a one out of nowhere and all that. So let's see how to make things happen. Again, first of all, we want to have a one all the way right here, one plus. I want to have something times something is equal to two n squared. Uh, let's see, that might be kind of hard because two is not a perfect square, right? If you have the same kind times same kind. That's not perfect square. So let's actually produce a perfect square first. To do so, we can just multiply the bottom and the top by two. How's that? So now we are looking at this as four n square. So let's keep that in mind. And on top, of course, we have the two times one, which is just two. Now, this is much better to work with because we know we can actually multiply two n plus one with two n minus one. When we do that, we get what? Yes. 4n squared minus 1, and then plus this one, we get 4n squared. That's very nice. And now the deal is that if you put this right here minus this right here, we actually end up with 2 as well. That's very nice. Let me show you. Put this down for the tangent A. So we have 2n plus 1, and then we are going to minus the tangent B. And we are going to put this for the tangent B, which is 2n minus 1 like this. Now you see 2n minus 2n is of course gone, and then 1 minus negative 1, we all know that it's equal to 2. So this is very, very nice. So in another word, the inside is this now. And the point of doing so is that this right here is a tangent A, this right here is a tangent B, and we can put that right here. We have the AB. So let me show you. This is what we want. We want to take tangent A, to be the 2n plus 1. And then we take tangent b to be this, namely 2n minus 1, right? And of course, once we have this done, on the left-hand side, we have the a minus b. So we can just take the inverse tangent again on both sides. That's very nice. And yes, we can actually produce a telescoping series out of this right here. Very nice. Told you. All right. I need my markers. 
Now, let me actually do the work right here, okay? That was just the prep work. So, I'll just put down so. We see that the original sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of the inverse tangent of 1 over 2n squared. This right here is equal to the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of the following. Again, because the inside is this, right? And we pretty much have the inverse tangent of the inside, and the inside is this. So we are going to turn this to the left-hand side. Namely, we just get a minus b. Here we have to do tangent, but this is the inverse one, and then 2n plus 1. And we are going to subtract the b, which is inverse tangent of 2n minus 1 like that. Yes, it is a telescoping series. And let's just see what kind of series do we get right here, okay? So let's plug in one in our head. So first of all, if you plug in one in our head, we get inverse tangent of 3 minus plugging one right here, we get the inverse tangent of 2 minus 1, which is 1. So we have this right here for the first term, right? And of course, we are going to add the next term, which is when n equals 2. When n is equal to 2, we get the inverse tangent of, this is 5, and then minus 2 right here will be 3, so we have the inverse tangent of 3 like this, right? And let's just put down a few more. The next one is when n equals to 3. Putting 3 right here, and 3 right here, we get the inverse tangent of 7. And this is going to be inverse tangent of 5. This is minus inverse tangent of 5, like that. All right? So that's pretty much the idea. Can we see okay? This is a 5. Let me see. Cool. Yeah. And the truth is, we should put down the nth term right here. So we'll just put on plus da da da, and we will add. And we write this down again, pretty much. So we get the nth term, which is the inverse tangent of 2n plus 1 minus the inverse tangent of 2n minus 1, like that. And then plus. Keeps on going forever. Now, take a look right here. We see that this is inverse tangent 3. We have a negative version of that. So this and that will cancel out. This right here survives. Next, inverse tangent of 5 will cancel out with this guy. So this and that will be gone as well. And then pretty much this right here will be gone with whatever we have coming up. And likewise, 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 right? And now, at some point, somebody right here is going to cancel out with what? It's going to cancel out with which guy? Well, earlier, you see, the first guy cancels out with the second guy in, the second pr in, in this parentheses. So somebody right here is going to cancel out with this guy right here in this parentheses. So somebody right here is going to cancel out with this guy. Right? And so on, so on, so on. So in other words, the sum is going to be the following. This is the partial sum, right? So we actually end up with the, let me just write this down in this order, namely inverse tangent 1. And that's a negative right here, inverse tangent of 1. And we have to add, this is the past the term. So we are going to add the inverse tangent of 2n plus 1. Again, this is pretty much the nth partial sum. And now we have to take the limit as n goes to infinity. Right? Because remember, when you have the infinity right here, it's technically taking a limit as n goes to infinity. Well, whatever this is, but not really n, but whatever. Right here. Well, well, let's see. This is just very nice. Negative inverse tangent of 1 is just pi over 4. Don't worry, I know I told you guys pass the pi over 4. This is negative pi over 4 because right here we have to add, you put the infinity right here, 2 times infinity is still infinity, plus infinity, congratulations, we still have infinity. And this right here will pretty much tell us inverse tangent of infinity, which is positive pi over 2. So this part right here, we have to add pi over 2. And of course, in the end, you just get your common denominator and we will end up with positive pi over over 4 right here. Ah, this is so beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, hopefully you guys all like this video. Hopefully you guys all like math as well. If you do, consider to subscribe. You guys can find a lot more math videos on my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, that's it.